Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today we're going to be talking about what there is to do in the world of Warcraft for the week of January 9th, 2018. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. It's a brand new week in the world of Warcraft and that means it's time to go get your reroll tokens in Dalaran and recruit your Argus Order Hall minions. The 860 Broken Isle world boss this week is Levantis and the 930 Argus Greater Invasion Point boss is Mistress Aluradel. The current value of the World of Warcraft token on North American realms is 167,772 gold and on EU realms it is 266,623 gold. As I'm sure everyone is very aware by now, Antorus, the Burning Throne, the newest raid in Legion, is now open on Normal, Heroic, and Mythic difficulty as well as LFR Wing 1, 2, and 3. LFR Wing 4 will open on Tuesday, January 16th on NA servers and Wednesday, January 17th on EU servers. And at that point, once LFR Wing 4 is opened, all players will see the new Corrupted Silithus landscape. It's also speculated that 7.3.5 is not going to be far off from this event, so we may see that patch as soon as next week or the week after, at least that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> the bonus event this week is the Legion Dungeon event. During the event, players will be affected by the sign of the warrior buff which causes the final boss of each Legion dungeon to drop an extra item when defeated. If you finish the quest Emissary of War by completing four Mythic Legion dungeons, you'll be rewarded with a cache of Antorn treasures containing a piece of heroic Antorus loot. The PvP brawl this week is Shadow Pan Showdown. Players will race for control of a center point in the Tiger's Peak Arena to activate one of two bosses. The first boss to kill the other team's boss wins. The reward for winning is 300 honor and a heck of a lot of artifact power. Be sure to pick up the quest Something Different in Dalaran or from your adventure journal and winning will also reward you with a Brawler's Foot Locker in addition to three Marks of Honor and an AP token. PvP brawls last one week and cycle every two weeks. The archaeology reward this week is the same as last week, the Blood of Young Manoroth. This will reward players with 3 Obliterum plus Obliterum Ash. Use Obliterum at the Forge in Dalaran to upgrade crafted items up to level 900. Be sure to grab your Blood of Young Manoroth now or you'll have to wait 6 months because archaeology quests are bi-weekly and last 2 weeks. If you complete 8 of the Legion archaeology quests, you'll earn the artifact tint for the achievement this side up. The Dark Moon Fair is in town this week, and if you are a new or returning player, it is definitely worth checking out. There's lots of fun mini games and quests, and you can earn things like cosmetic gear, including replica vanilla set pieces, toys, mounts, pets, and more. The Dark Moon Fair is also great for leveling players, because aside from all of the quests there are to do and profession stuff there is to do, you can also earn experience and reputation buffs, and you can buy heirlooms and heirloom item upgrades. And finally, this week's Mythic Plus affixes are Teeming, Quaking, and Fortified. And before I get into what those things do, I do want to quickly mention that every week you can earn 20 Wakening Essences just by doing one Mythic Plus on any Keystone difficulty. You won't get it out of the Mythic Plus dungeon, you'll get it from the chest in your order hall every Tuesday, but it's definitely worth doing a quick Mythic 1 or 2 or whatever just to get those 20 Wakening Essences. It'll only take you about 15-20 minutes and you're well on your way to a Legendary. Anyways, once again, this week's Mythic Plus affixes are Teeming, Quaking, and Fortified. Teeming, additional non-boss enemies are present throughout the dungeon. Quaking, periodically all players emit a shockwave inflicting damage and interrupting nearby allies. Fortified, non-boss enemies have 20% more health and inflict up to 30% additional damage. And that's about it for what there is to do this week in the world of Warcraft. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys plan to do this week. For me, I plan to definitely do the Legion Dungeon event and get my bonus piece of Antorus loot. And I'm also going to be doing a Mythic Plus from here on out because I want to get all my legendaries and you guys know I'm behind. If you're interested in learning more about the legendary changes coming in 7.3.5, Nico and I made a video on it and I will have it linked in the info below. But for now, I'm going to go. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.